Today we will talk about the what is Sol Scan and how to use it. Sol Scan is an alternative Solana blockchain explorer. It gives you access to blockchain data regarding transactions, contracts, accounts, and more. If you regularly use Solana or do any troubleshooting, understanding how to use a blockchain explorer is extremely useful. Sol Scan also has DeFi and NFT dashboards and an analytics platform to browse. You can also use their API to create customized feeds for yourself. All of these are found in the header of the website. Introduction Solana is a proof of stake, POS, blockchain where project developers can build dApps, tokens, and smart contracts. Like any other active chain, users need an intuitive way to access the blockchain data. Similar to BASC Scan and Ether Scan, Solana also has a dedicated block explorer called Sol Scan. Let's run through its most important features and a few basic tutorials. What is Sol Scan? Sol Scan is a blockchain explorer used to search through information on the Solana blockchain. It's a popular alternative to the official Solana Explorer. Sol Scan turns complex transactional data into something that can be easily read. The Block Explorer provides access to anything recorded on chain, including crypto transactions, addresses, smart contracts, blocks, tokens, and more. It's free to use and doesn't require an account, but you can create one and log in for enhanced functionality. Why should I use Sol Scan? Using a blockchain explorer is essential for anyone transacting with a network. If you aren't sure where your staked funds have gone, or perhaps a transaction is still pending, you can use SolScan to find out what's happened. All information on SolScan comes directly from the Solana blockchain, so you can be sure it's accurate. Using SolScan or any blockchain explorer will help you understand the mechanics of dApps you interact with and the transactions you make. SolScan uses the same format as EtherScan, making it easier to understand. Many users prefer its layout to Solana's official explorer. It's all free to use and contains several useful tools, lists, and analytical graphs. The Explorer also contains a set of public APIs that can leverage real-time data from SolScan into custom, third-party applications, and tools. The concept of the metaverse and digital real estate go hand in hand. But like many crypto trends, media coverage hasn't provided sufficient clarity. Just as it is with any other investment, it's crucial to grasp the idea of metaverse real estate before purchasing any digital land. Compared to purely artistic non-fungible tokens, NFTs, Metaverse real estate is simpler to comprehend due to its plain-to-see utility and use cases. For newcomers to the Metaverse, digital real estate can sound like an oxymoron. The idea of physical property and real estate are firmly intertwined. However, while blockchain-based real estate in the Metaverse may not be physical, it offers the same, or perhaps even stronger, ownership rights over a plot of, digital, land. Land ownership in a game, community, or other platform is represented by an NFT. As NFTs are non-fungible, i.e., each one is unique, and can securely prove digital ownership, they act much like property deeds in digital real estate. An NFT can be traded, bought, and sold according to its market value, which is derived from a range of factors. Your metaverse real estate might be in a popular area with lots of digital foot traffic, making it suitable as advertising space. Staking benefits and other utilities also boost the value of the land. The specific metaverse platform you're on will determine the value of your land. Some metaverse platforms allow you a considerable degree of personalization, so you can build and plan your own space, events, and experiences. Examples include the Snoopverse on the Sandbox and Netflix's content on Decentraland. To understand the appeal of metaverse real estate, it's worth taking a step back and looking at the appeal of NFTs as a whole. On a technological level, NFTs provide legitimate digital proof of ownership. This is valuable in a world where it's all too easy to copy files without any discernible difference. Next, we need to look at the collectability aspect. Humans have always been passionate about collecting items for a variety of reasons. Apart from enjoyment and collectability, an NFT may provide tangible benefits such as increased utility on a game or platform. How to look up transactions and addresses on Sol Scan. One of SolScan's most used features is the search function for transactions and addresses. With the correct hash, you can quickly access a large amount of information. This includes transaction fees, confirmations, timestamps, addresses involved, and more dot transactions. One colon every Solana transaction is recorded on the Solana mainnet with a signature dot this is a long string of numbers and letters that looks like this. Two colon copy and paste the signature into SolScan's search bar and hit enter. 3 colon you'll now see all available information about the transaction you searched. 
this is divided into three categories, overview, SOL balance change, and token balance change. 5 colon for further information, the SOL balance change and token balance change tabs provide data on the transactions token balance changes for all parties involved. Addresses a similar method can be used to find out more about an individual address. You can then check a detailed history of the address's activities. This can give you an overview of the transactions and smart contract interactions of a particular wallet. One colon find the Solana address you want to look at. It's shorter than a signature and looks something like this. Two colon copy and paste the address into Sol scan search bar and hit enter. Three colon you'll now see all available information about the account you searched for. The overview section shows current account balances, while the bottom tabs deal mainly with transaction history. How to find tokens on Sol scan. Tokens are easily verifiable on Sol Scan and you can get a full display of their details. You just need to 1 colon copy and paste the token address into Sol Scan search bar and hit enter. In this example, we've used a wrapped version of Bitcoin, BTC, but you can also use a wrapped version of Ethereum, ETH, or any other SPL token in the Solana network. The token address looks like this. 2 colon if you entered the address correctly, you would see the following information. How do I find Solana's active accounts? 1 colon you can find out the number of active accounts and other key blockchain metrics by clicking analytics. Do the Sol scan analytics page has a wide range of information about network nodes, transactions per second, TPS, new tokens, new NFTs, and more. Under the accounts header, you can find the number of daily active wallets. 3 colon note that you can select different periods at the top right corner. How to access DeFi dashboards on Sol scan. 1. Some of the largest DEXs in the Solana ecosystem have dashboards built into the Solana Block Explorer. You can find them quickly under the DEFI tab. 2 colon Let's take a look at Orca. This dashboard shows basic information on total value locked, TVL, volume, and active trading pairs available in their liquidity pools. How to access the NFT dashboard on Sol Scan. 1 colon Sol Scan makes it easy to see new NFTs, trades, and collections with the NFT dashboard. You can find the section in the website header. 2 The NFT dashboard will let you search through any NFT available on Solana. The Collections tab will give you a list of NFT projects based on volume. The Trades tab will show the most recent sales, while the New NFTs will list the most recent mints. Closing thoughts. Whether you want to inspect your latest Metaverse NFTs, investigate a node, or check the wallets of a new startup, you will need a Solana Block Explorer. This tool is an integral part of any blockchain network's ecosystem. Sol Scan has become one of the most used within the Solana community, so understanding its layout and UI can certainly help. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.